Hello everyone, Dan 14th Prime here. Doing a video share out today on the new addition to the Prime Pyre. This is the Blitzway quarter scale Elvis Presley statue. Now this piece is like mixed media and just mixed materials overall. Comes with everything you see in front of you there, which includes a lot of outstandingly detailed elements. And it also includes another head sculpt. The one you're looking at is Elvis in his 30s, as they say. It comes with another one, Elvis in his 20s. The head sculpts will be worth some discussion, but I will say this one that's on in front of you here, I think is pretty good, pretty solid. And he does also come with a red Hawaiian lei. As this piece overall uses some of this theme of his Aloha from Hawaii tour, where he did feature these American Eagle jumpsuits. Dimensions on this piece, he goes about 21 inches tall, about 15 inches wide, and about 10 inches deep. So that's a pretty typical quarter scale dimensions. And I haven't seen a declared ES for him, but he does retail for about 500 bucks. So I got this from Big Bad Toy Store, a little like 500 bucks shipped to my door, which I would say in today's statue context is a pretty good value as well. Keep that in mind for what we're getting for our money here. But let's jump in closer and take a better look at this piece. Let's start off with a quick look at the base here. It's pretty simple. It's like a stage, you know, you've got some stars, you'll see a light up effect on top that I'll show you but it's all one piece, black gold trim, the switch here in the back for the light up. This cord, if you're seeing, is from the microphone. I'll talk more about that in a, a minute. But then you have all these stars detailing it right here. Uh, battery pack four, double A batteries. Just kind of pull that out, load those up. And again, the switch there was in the back. So very efficient, but I think it works. Simple, relevant base. Then here, just to show you that top side and that light up effect, you can see there Elvis in red, uh, right there on the top of the base. And if we go around and just hit the switch, that lights up. It's cool, it's accessible, pretty easy to hit the switch as long as this you know, isn't gonna be behind glass or something like that. Battery powered, so I don't know how long that'll last, but a pretty cool effect. I think it adds a pretty cool touch to the piece overall. So going into the figure, I mentioned this piece has some outstanding details. Like all the conversations around the head sculpts, which we'll get into, but like the details on this piece are really, really top notch across the jumpsuit. So you can check out the boots. The jumpsuit's even got some red flare in there. Here's the other shoe here. You can see he's kind of up on his toe. You can see this do like a little ankle boot thing to get the effect but those boots look really good. Let's just start checking out this American Eagle jumpsuit. The details are crazy. I mean, for remember, $500 piece, this is soft goods, jumpsuit. Look at all of these stars, all these little eagles going up the leg, all just like, you know, beaded on there. And some, I'm sure they're all sort of probably glued or something, but all adhered onto this jumpsuit. Let's get you some front end view as we come across here. He's got this kind of like a lunging pose. The peg is here and the up foot that he's got up on his toe just sort of sits there. And of course up this side, you know, it's the same thing, but just really impressed by all that. Then check out this belt. It is phenomenal. Got all these like chains hanging off of it, all these these golden eagle kind of icons adhered on there. Super cool. Blinged up. That is a lot of great detail. A lot of accenting, a lot of good worksmanship in there. That whole belt. Very cool. Then, of course, going up from there, you have the big eagle on the back. Again, I'll just spin them here a bit, but you can get the flavor for it. All these gold stars kind of all over. We'll look at that hand a bit closer. The hands are really good. See the eagle kind of come across the front. You know, he's kind of got some chest hair painted on. He's got this necklace bling here that goes, um, I'll say, over the head, though you put it on underneath. I'll show you about the busts. This is like a second piece of fabric trim. It again, kind of goes with the busts. I'll show you. Microphone, ring on his finger. All of that so far, everything bottom up is like a 10. Just like really, really impressive. 
I'm just freehanding from the top here a bit, trying to get you a good shot of that ring. Again, great details. The hands look really good. The microphone, the separate piece you slide in there, a lot of great detail. And you see this cord. I'm still kind of letting gravity work at it so it gets a little more natural. I've been trying to just kind of pin it down with something, but I'm um, still working on that. It kind of just goes nowhere. I kind of wish there was somewhere on the base that would sort of tie in on the end or something. Um, it's probably a little bit longer than it needs to be and doesn't seem to have a place to kind of go. Not a big deal. You could trim it if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to kind of rot it to the back there a little bit and try to hide it. But that's a cool touch as well. And then on his right hand, again, it's a it's a good pose, very natural looking. The, the pose overall, um, but then the hand looks good and, and as well, the ring details there, pretty good as well. And up here at the portrait, this is where the debate will be. But again, remember everything here to four, I would say is like a 10. Really good. $500 statue, literally like to your door as well. So given that, what can we expect here? Now, it's, clearly it's not Blitzway's best work. At the same time, this head sculpt, which they would describe as, you know, Elvis in his 30s. I've tried to bring a little extra light here so you can see kind of the detail through the hair. Black and brown kind of in there. Got the chops going. Again, the sculpt down into like the neck and the chest hair works. Maybe the chest hair isn't perfect either, but in terms of how it sits just so behind all the clothing and everything, it, I think it gives the effect. Now the portrait overall, I think, again, this is the better of the two sculpts, but that's, that's all right. I think, you know, you put some pictures up against that. That'll definitely pass snuff. Typically for 500 bucks, this is the best of the two. It's the one I'm going to rock. It is worth mentioning as well. The, the skin tone is maybe a little dark on, on both. We'll see. It jumps out at me more on the younger one. So it's either a good Hawaii tanned Elvis or they could have lightened up the skin tone a smidge probably. Now while we're here, I'm just going to quickly show the lay. Um, this is the lay, right? So whatever, you could put it on there and situate it really however you wanted relative to kind of his collar and his jacket and this thing to say how you want it to kind of flow in. Now unfortunately, in the directions, it gives some warning to not let that sit on there too long. They don't really define too long. Um, but like so many things with kind of soft goods like this, they say, you know, the, the color could transfer onto the white over time. So that probably just means I'm just not going to use that piece at all, but whatever. It's not a, not a big deal for me. Now swapping out the portraits, um, it can be kind of a pain. I wish it was easier, but let me just show you again. I've gotten the microphone kind of out of the way. I'll just show you the other portrait. Again, you can see how they are like these torso busts sort of that magnetize, you know, on the back and they slide down really far and it creates the whole chest hair effect and everything. So that's the whole swap out. And you can see the two sculpts, I guess, side by side. That's probably the best view of the 20s Elvis, that, that side. I think as you roll to this way, it just doesn't work much at all. But we'll look closer at it. But yeah, to swap it out, you basically lean forward, um, kind of pull forward that bust and then slide it out. And you'll see what comes out as I get the necklace and I get this interior scarf thing. Now, in terms of situating the new bust, we want to put the necklace back on. I'll just sort of start it from here. I'll need to bring it back by the camera, but you come from underneath so as to not, you know, risk scratching paint and stuff. So bring it up and around his neck. Then you have to situate this scarf, which I do not love. And I won't be able to do it behind the camera perfectly. But just to give you a sense for it, you gotta kind of put this back around his neck. You'll see these creases here. I can tell I've already got it sort of backwards from what they were, how they had been doing it. So let's do it like this. And you can see they sort of have these creases where you know it must have sort of been like tucked like under here but you want to kind of thread it around his torso a little bit, sort of like, like this. And again, super hard behind the camera, but you kind of set it up like that. And then you got to get it down in there, trying to keep this sort of in position so it doesn't just puff up and everything. This really needs like some anchor points or something that's going to keep it more intact as you try to do that. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Let's
as you can see, kind of finicky. And then you're left trying to figure out like what you're doing with some of this. And there's really kind of nowhere else to tuck it. Like if you haven't gotten it all down. Play with how much you want to open a bit, but that's, yeah, that's kind of like tough. I don't love sort of that part of messing with swapping out the portraits, dealing with this scarf thing. But then, yeah, here we are, the Elvis in his 20s, right? Um, not Blitzway's best work, not the head sculpt I'll be using. Is it a $500 head sculpt uh, portrait? Yes, absolutely. You know, for in terms of what you pay for, you know, the money and everything, the value over all the piece, it's acceptable if you had to, if you really wanted to roll with that one. Like anything with head sculpts, like different angles, it's just better at some than others. But it's just difficult because they tried to get the lip curl, and I think that was just like really tough. That's just kind of really tough sort of look likeness to pull off. Some people are writing the piece off because of this head sculpt. I, I wouldn't. I think that's a mistake because, again, I think the other one is very good. Even if we can say, okay, this one's bad, let's say. The other one's at least good. Nothing is great or fantastic, but then all the rest of this statue is a uh, really great work. So for 500 bucks, yep, works. Pretty happy with that overall. So they have it, guys. The Elvis Presley Blitzway quarter scale statue. Pretty happy with it. Like I said, amazing details. The suit just blows my mind. It's phenomenal. So much of the sculpt, his build, the hands, the shoes, fantastic. All the details with the rings, the necklace, uh, amazing. The stage works, you know, as a base. And then the portraits, you know, keep you in the game, right? They don't take it to the next level, unfortunately, which would be a pretty high level to get to after this suit, which is really mind-blowing. Um, but they keep it on point. I think the head sculpts keep it on point, And you've got two options. Uh, definitely with the older option, I believe, being the better sculpt. But the younger one here, if you had or really, really wanted to go with that one, it, it doesn't crash and burn the piece, in my opinion. All right, guys, so thanks for checking out the video. Links down in the description below. Affiliate links for shopping. Check out my Instagram, simhandledan14prime. I'll have an unboxing of this piece saved down into my profile, as I always do for things that come into the collection. So check me out there on Instagram. Again, dan14prime. And I will see you next time.